Howdy folks, uh, welcome to another episode. It is a Thursday, um, and I've come to rural Derbyshire, Belper to be exact, where I'm gonna try and do 20 pubs today. Yeah, I know, 20. Long day ahead of me. And you might be able to tell I'm slightly out of breath. Got a lift over today, got a, got a taxi over. Got dropped off a few yards down the road just to see how steep these hills are. And yeah, they're steep. Um, so I've got a bit of a steep walk at the end. Uh, for the last two pubs that are on the other side of this that don't open until later, so couldn't do them first, so I've got to come back and do them last. It's going to be an interesting walk, see how I go on. Anyway, Belper looks lovely. Uh, I've been once before, got most of it done, well, about half done. I think there are nine new ones on me today, and I'm going to start with a brand new one. This beautiful looking one, just here, called The Grapes. So, start number one of the day The Grapes. Bring on Belper. So, stop them on the grapes. So it is a tenanted master's house. Uh, Mark, the new, uh, the new manager here, since June last year, uh, they put some money into this. It looks beautiful inside. So it is a gorgeous looking old pub, mid 1800s. Uh, and this area at the back, especially this, when Mark took over, wasn't even part of the pub. This was just a driveway. And now dedicated darts room, sort of function room, all sorts of other stuff going on in here. Ignore the signs Man United shirt or the, uh, the Derby stuff. There is a forest thing over there though, which I was quite impressed by. But yeah, this is a, a lovely way of extending the pub. Nice fire and stuff going. But uh, last night they had Amber Valley camera come in and they tried something else. So the pedigree was absolutely wonderful. But which one was it that was out of this world? But the directors was absolutely out of this world about this. If you're looking to come for some really good real ale, and it is now officially out of this world, according to Amber Valley Camp. Top place to start, top pub. Only 19, plus maybe three more to go. Who knows, it's gonna be a long day. What a, a thoroughly lovely chap Mark is and Connor working on the bar in there for him. Um, like I said, that is lovely in there. Really, really nice. You can see the money and the effort that's been put in, but you can also feel the love. Um, you can feel that this is this is a publican who has got a five year lease on that place and he is gonna do everything he can to bring that up to being absolutely top notch. Uh, and he's doing a great job with it. So, um, I've walked for four minutes uh, and I've had a slight detour on my original plan because Belper has to make his name until three, so I'm about 45 minutes away from that opening. So stop number is gonna be the Nags Head. Uh, this is one I've done before. Uh, lovely, sort of bikery, biker pub, rock pub uh, from the last time I came. Uh, was very happy with it. These hills are uh, killing me already. I've forgotten quite how steep a lot of them are. But stop number two, then the Nags Head. Here we go. Yeah, so one's exactly like I remember. Uh, it is a biker rock pub. Um, it's got a pool table. It's got um, sort of handballs on. Uh, it's got a really good jukebox. A lot of live music coming up, including uh, February 10th, 2024. So if you're watching this before then, uh, which you've got, you've got plenty of time to watch this before then, haven't you? Uh, the awesome Unforgiven. Uh, I happen to know one of the guys in that band. They are absolutely banging. Um, they're well worth coming along to see. Um, it's got a pool table. Um, it is it's typical like rock biker type vibe pub. It's, uh, um, it's just as good as I remember last time. Uh, a great little place for stop number two of my day. Uh, half a Guinness, again, at £2.30. £2.40 in the uh, in the grapes, but uh, Mark refused to let me pay for it, so technically first paid for drink of the day. £2.30, half a Guinness. Stop number two, one on the way. This is the, this is the offering on the bar in here. Good choices. Again, directors. Seems to be a thing around here. Top stop number two. See you later. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I love that in there. It's um, that's that's right on my street. Any kind of rocker, biker, pub is uh, is always well and truly up my street, as you probably know by now. Um, so right, so I'm going to again change the route slightly and nip to the Angels Micro Pub uh, in the corner. It's, it's a two minute walk from the Nags Head, uh, and I still I might otherwise be hanging around a few minutes before I can get in the three o'clock opener. So we'll do this next. A stop number three, old uh, corner Micro Pub. It's a lovely square and stuff in Belper as well. Uh, really liked it in here last time, so this is now stop number three, the Angels Micropub. Yeah, lovely, lovely little micropub this. Uh, gone, for, gone with Blue Monkey, half a BG Sips. Watch this space, by the way, because the Great British Pub Crawl and uh, Blue Monkey might just be coming to a, some kind of arrangement on uh, creating a beer together. That sounds dangerous, isn't it? Yeah. Proper old school vibing micropub. Always a great offering in here. Good prices. This has only cost me £1.80 for half a BG Sips. And you can't go wrong with that, can you? A proper old school setup. Lovely little gaff. Stop number three, the Angels Micro Pub. Just as good as I remember last time. Hmm. Cheers. The Angels is a wicked little micro pub. Um, 
that brings me now back up there. I can see Belper House. It's not not got much uh, signs of life in there yet. Uh, I'll be honest, but apparently they open at three. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hold fire. In fact, it's only quarter to three, and think, yeah, 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 they'll definitely be open. But my next stop then is this one right behind me. The beer trap. This is a shop with a tap room. Wonderful selection of things in here. Really friendly last time. Like I said I spent hours in here getting absolutely steaming, but I've got work to do, so I can't. So stop number four is the beer trap. That's uh, got such an epic selection of stuff in it. I said I, I love anything like this. It's a tap room with a wonderful selection of beers. But have a look at some of these beauties on here. That key lime pie from yonder, that's what I had in the, uh, the Pharmacy Arms in Syston last Thursday. Uh, and that was absolutely banging. Uh, and we all know my, uh, my current affliction to uh, Delirium Red, which is definitely not something I would advise anybody to have when they want to have a long day out. Because uh, three or four of them catch up with you. I've also avoided the, uh, the putty. Not because I don't like it, because it's absolutely banging. But because I've got a very, very long day ahead of me. This little beauty down here is Pablo. And Pablo's an absolute sweetie. Uh, and as you can see, I've gone for the, uh, the two flints. Half of the two flints on the tap. Yeah, lovely little, uh, lovely little bottle shop uh, and stuff like this. Up until five on a weekday. What time are you up until on the weekends? Uh, until people get bored. Up until people get on the weekends. I mean, I'd never get bored, so I would just they'd, they'd be open forever if I was there. But yeah, lovely little place. Shouldn't be, if you want to do a little tour, shouldn't miss definitely come in this little tap room and stuff on a, on a weekend day. Definitely. Great place. Uh, I absolutely love the beer truck. So they've got a wicked selection of stuff in there. Um, and the guys are running. Uh, they're, they're nice guys. Uh, Pablo's a right cutie as well. Top notch. Right, so I was right. Three o'clock, Belper House. You're just here, on the corner. On the corner, this road is so busy, by the way. Three o'clock opening, so we've turned it well, it's all worked out. Start number five, Belper House. Hello, Elliot, this is a wicked little place. You've got oh, some yeah. uh, real ales and stuff on, on the bar in here. But it is just, this is an old historic, plenty of history and stuff behind it. Run by lovely people. Uh, I wanted to catch it, I'm glad that we've come and caught it. Um, and yeah, and we are now moving down in towards the town. So stop number five, ticked off. Uh, had an electric boogaloo in here as well. Love a bit of Tiny Rebel, so really good selection of stuff in here. Good pub. Uh, I'm, really, I'm really pleased that I got in there because it is nice. So I'm back across on the square and stop six, the Black Swan. Um, but it's very much closed for now. So I'm gonna move on. Um, if I don't get back to it, I don't get back to it. I have done it before, but it would be a shame to have missed it out today. Uh, my next stop, I've been across Keys, uh, taken over by new people um, within the last year, apparently. That's a bit of a shame, because I remember the old, I think the old landlord was a forest fan. <sighs> There's not many of us around, especially in Derbyshire, so it would have been nice to uh, chew the cud with him, but, uh, especially on transfer deadline day. It's transfer deadline day today, if you're watching this on any other time, by the way, as well. Um, so, uh, stop six is now uh, there for the cross case. Yeah, nice to be back in this one, which uh, I said, it, it, the, the chap that ran it before was a Forest fan, but he's gone. Uh, and to be fair, it's probably for the best because it looks a lot tidier already in here than it did before. That was one thing I said about it last time. It was a little bit run down in here. It needed some love, some care, and it's certainly a lot cleaner now. But the good news is, we've got a refurb plan. Refurb is imminent, coming very, very soon anyway. Um, and I, to be honest, I'm looking forward to coming back and seeing what it is. Uh, it's now run by a lovely lady called Trish. Um, got four handles and stuff on the bar still. Pool table, which is a definite asset in this part of town, because there's not many pool tables in this end uh, of Belfort. So that is a definite asset to the pub. Be good hand pools and stuff on. A decent enough selection and things on the rest of it. So this, I'll show you what it looks like now, because in a, in a, in a couple of weeks' time, this will all be gone. So big old, big old room here, darts board and stuff. Big old room, big old space for the pool table, nice historic old thing. I mean, said so that pool table, decent enough pool table. This is a lovely room, and I really hope that with the refurb, jukebox and stuff, I really do hope that with the refurb, they don't do too much messing about with the layout and things like that. And so that pool table, that needs to stay, definitely. Whatever you're doing with it, don't lose that. That too, and the fact is the Black Swan was up at four, so I've, I've, I've chilled me beans for a few extra minutes that I perhaps shouldn't have done, because I'm now way behind on my schedule. Stop number seven can be the black swan because that door that door is wide open. Stop number seven, the black swan. Stop club, um, we've got a really good food menu and stuff in it. Um, it's always a friendly welcome thing, so I'm glad that I've made it back in. Because it is one of heavy on the food, so we've got a couple of, kind of handfuls on. And a nice, clean, tidy you know, looking bar. Always a nice vibe. Um, so stop seven then is the black swan. Uh, I've dipped my time a little bit. I need to pick the pace up. That's something we're going to get through this day. Obviously the sheer volume of traffic and stuff in Belper is madness. Um, 
Right, I'm on the sort of main street down. I've got one little detour to make. I'm on the main street down now. Uh, and my next stop is a Vibe Bar and a Bistro, uh, which has apparently just opened. So, uh, into that next number eight. So I'm in here for a, uh, I need to pick my face up though. I definitely need to pick my face up. Stop eight Vibe Bar. The Vibe Bar's demise are strongly exaggerated because they have not shut down in the size. In fact, they look exactly the same as they did last time I was in here, which is beautiful. It's, this is a lovely little, um, still got seating and stuff upstairs. Still got all the seating and stuff looking little place to be fair. Um, so whoever, Whoever decided to uh, come on our Facebook page and tell us that this one had shut down was well and truly wrong, and I can categorically confirm to you all they are well and truly still just as beautiful as they were the first time. So half the Atlantic Pale I've gone for in here. So yeah, that's uh, that's made my list of 20 to at least 21, and as a social club, I'm probably going to so it'll be 22. You know, it's a day, isn't it? It's a day. Uh, to be fair, the last in there, that's a, that's a nice cocktail. It's a really nice cocktail bar, though. Um, last in there, Katrina, I think her name's Katrina. She's absolutely lovely. So it's a, a banging little place. Uh, across the road, so I've walked for, what, you've just seen me come out the door. I've walked 10 seconds. <laughs> Monk bar. That is, uh, that is going to be stopped. I think it's nine. Because I've, because I've messed my route up, I'm not on the right numbers, am I? So I think I'm at nine. Um, I'm two and a half hours in, so I'm slow at the moment. I'm going to pick the pace up very, very soon uh, and get round. Got a little detour down a side street and then the rest of this and down. But I'm not looking forward to these hills though. But thus, thus far, Belper still, as I remember, still a decent enough place to go out drinking in. Absolutely no one around. Staying here on my own. Um, a few, uh, a few bits. Um, it's nice. It's, it's smart and swanky in here, but yeah, I've been bowling off the street. Um, and thus far, I'm, uh, I'm the only one around. So, got Club Choppy Car on, so I'm gonna have half of that, I think. Hopefully, swiftly, because otherwise, it's gonna add to my thumb. Lovely plush little cocktail bar, that is, to be fair. Um, I, actually, I actually really like it in there, but I, I've never noticed, last time cut the sounds of Bin of Elpa, I never noticed the fact that sat over the road from Mum Bar is the wicked old little cinema. So, this has one screen in it, and it's a proper old school cinema uh, with like proper like date night type seating and things like that. It's so nice to see that something like that is still standing in Belper, because I know I never knew that was it. So, that's a, that's a beautiful little thing to spot uh, as you come out of Monk Bar. Never knew it was it. Lovely. It's, it's really, really nice to see old school cinemas like that still existing in little towns. So, yeah, banging little find that. Ritz Cinema. Look it up. And that does mean now, as it's getting, uh, as it's getting dark, as you can see, uh, I'm onto the greenhouse, uh, which is one of those big sort of chain looking pubs. It kind of feels like a stone gate or a weather spot. I think it might be a stone gate. Um, yeah. It's certainly more of a, more of a commercial feel to it, I'm sure, than some of the ones I've been in so far today, but I remember being all right in here. Um, so the greenhouse is stop number 10. So technically I would be halfway, but I think I'm up in it to 22, not 20. So I'm not quite halfway yet. I'll have a good day though anyway. Like, to be fair, it actually feels more like an old linden tree or something like that inside. Um, that certainly gives me sort of Yates' or linden tree type vibes. But, um, decent enough sort of tap session. Things like that. A few real hours on. It's a nice beer boozer. Uh, there's good, good deals on their food and stuff. I went for a single vodka and uh, dark coke in it, or single vodka and coke zero. Five pound fifty though. It's a price, isn't it? Is what it is. Thought I'd test the waters in it, like I said, with a, uh, a single vodka coke zero. Five pound fifty. So no matter any uh, good cocktail offers or uh, food offers you have on, £5.50 for a single and a mixer. That's pretty extortionate, Stonegate. It's pretty extortionate. It's a Stonegate in it still, so you expect it. But come straight out of right, the greenhouse, which is there, walk through the, uh, the gate and the memorial. This is the memorial garden. So this is like a bit of a beautiful walk. Um, and the old King's Head that I've never been to, so this is the first one on me. The new one. I like doing new ones, especially on a pub call. Uh, so this, down this alleyway up here, is how we get to the old King's Head. Of course, Google Maps, two minute walk for the old King's Head. Nice garden to walk through, to be fair. For once, Google Maps wasn't wrong. Well, that the sheer volume of traffic driving through these roads in Belper. I'm sure there's got to be a better way of doing this, some like bypass or something, but. These roads are so busy for little narrow, even the main roads are like narrow streets, you see. And it's so busy, trying to cross the road. It's mad around here. But, there's Marston's on the outside and, the, and above. So I'm assuming that this is what I was looking for. But you see these, this is some beautiful streets, isn't they? Belper is lovely. It's lovely to walk around, apart from it's hilly. So I think that it is absolutely beautiful to walk around. But I'm right. The old King's Head is this beautiful looking building in front of me. So yeah, two, two minutes to walk from the, uh, the main street. 
up to dock number 11 is the old King's Head. That's, that's well worth the, uh, the walk down the side street. Right, this wasn't on my list, but you know me, I can't walk past the beautiful looking drinking establishment and not go in. Uh, so it's the Royal British Legion. And yeah, if you walk back down Strutt Street, is what I'm on, from the old King's Head, back towards the town, my next stop is supposed to be the bank, uh, you come across the Royal British Legion Club. I can't not do it, can I? So next up then, stop 12, Royal British Legion Club. This is gonna turn into a mega day though. I'm enjoying it though. One of the things I like most about clubs is like, there's a sign on the door that says, even if you're not a member, open the door and you're always welcome. That, that pulls on my heart strings. I love things like that. These are lovely, the salt of the earth, like, these are salt of the earth people. Give us a wave. These are salt of the earth people. But well, I've gone for, I've gone for half of this, pearl jet. Poor man's Guinness, they say. I say not, I like it, it's nice. There we go, so we're wandering around. I'm getting shown around. What's your, what's your name, my darling? Jude. Jude. I'm getting shown around by the lovely Jude. I'm, I'm getting, we're getting a tour. So we've got the walker lounge here, look. So, meetings, anything else you could want in here, you can come and have it. Yeah. You can come and have it. But at the back, this is this is what I really want it to be. Look, we're in a look, we've got a snooker room. This is what Chaz and Dave would have been Chaz and Dave would have been absolutely loving this, wouldn't they? Snooker loopy. This is on the back of you'd never walk past, would you think? Nice, lovely looking pool table in the corner and stuff as well. A little kitchen area. Oh, this is what's missing from sides is there a lot of in a lot of little towns. Like keep these little clubs going because they're banging. Keep these, keep these, yeah. You don't have to be a member. That's a big selling point. That's a big selling point. Get this on the drinking scene. Don't miss it out. Glad I didn't. Honestly, uh, Royal British Legion, they are, they're lovely old clubs and things like that, aren't they? But, right, uh, my next stop should have been the bank. Just here. But it is all in darkness. And honestly, if you can't be bothered to be open by this time on a Thursday, when everything else is, then I don't really know what else to say. Uh, I can't be hanging about. I'm already, I'm already well behind schedule. I don't even understand why that's not open. I would expect that to be open. Google rings is open, but it definitely isn't. So maybe that's one down for the day because uh, I think I've added the lion as well, according to the uh, <laughs> the guys in there. So I've got a long enough day. However, just down. This is run by Lincoln Green Brewing Company, and you know my thoughts on Lincoln Green Brewing Company. They are absolutely banging, absolutely superb. I loved this the last time, so absolutely loved this. So, yeah, we're well looking forward to being back in. So it's stop 12, technically. We might be on 22, we might be on 23, I don't know. We'll see how the day pans out. But the railway's up next. One thing I tend to do whenever we're going Lincoln Green pubs is I stick to, I stick to what I know, which I think a lot of people do, and I always stick to the tuck. The award-winning port, I always stick to that, and you shouldn't, because... So today, I've gone for the Marion. I've had half a Marion, so you shouldn't always stick to what you go normally because like we're going something different so i've gone for a marion today and it's really nice always 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 in lincoln i always go for the tuck but i'll pub this so we've had some a roaring fire that's beautiful it's a really cozy vibe it's a beautiful pub this um a bit of live music going on a rock band and stuff over in the corner here but i mean i you know you know my things on lincoln green i love them anyway and the railways are top top lincoln green boozer uh land of the uh, the lincoln green uh the, uh, the railway it's a forest fan um, lovely fella, to be fair. Um, lovely pub. I love all the Lincoln Greens pubs, as you know. But yeah, that is, that is a top note one. Right, so one down Campbell Street, and it brings me to this. I absolutely loved this one the last time I was here. Absolutely thought this was an absolutely banging real ale bar. Art rights. And it is an absolute stunner. But I'm questioning now, this was Ty, or is Tyler's. I thought that was a function type suite. Um, that only opened at weekends, but apparently that's open. And that there, Arthur's, comes up on Google as Campbell Street Bre <sighs> I can't anymore, man. I've got, I've got such a chore on already, but I'm gonna go in here and see what Art Rights say that these two are, before we decide what we're doing. But yeah, next up, Art Rights, real Elba. Honestly, last time I got to Belford, this is one of my favorite pubs, and I can, it, like, this is a proper, proper real. You have got a real good selection of what is on. Got some good, uh, good stuff on the taps as well, to be honest. I've gone for in here, I've gone for half a wiper. Never had one of them before, so I've gone for that. Got some real good stuff on the taps in here. And it's just a lovely looking, decent vibe bar and stuff in here. Um, so you've got a good outside space as well. This is Art Rights. Top place. Uh, glad to be back in here. Really liked it last time. Really like it this time. And we're moving on from here. Um, I'm not going to do the two over there. So Tyler's is a bit more a function venue and uh, the other one is a restaurant. Behind it is where Campbell Street Brewing Company was apparently. So 
I'm not seeking that out. We're moving on from here. We've got enough to do already. Uh, Stonking Pub, RIC. If you want real ales, <laughs> you've got to go in there. The, the Welcome's Friendly, it's just a lovely pub all around, to be fair. Um, and I'm, yeah, I, I, I really, really do appreciate it. I really like being in there anyway. So you walk around the corner, out of Campbell Street, turn left, walk down to the end, and turn right, and you come to a street that's got the rest of the ones that I've never been to before. So I've never been to any of these. This comes with a really good reputation. Looks beautiful as well, the lion. Um, so my next stop along, I think it's 14 for the day so far, is the line. But they're all now up this street until I get to the massive hill at the end of apparently, which I might just get the bus to, so we'll see. Line's up next. This is beautiful here, man. This is like, it's a fully functioning hotel still. So, um, it's got the hotel part to the, uh, should come in. It's very grand sort of staircase and stuff, very grand. The Darts Premier League uh, is coming on. That's about to start on a thing. So this is the bar area, um, which is beautiful. Uh, four hand pulls and stuff on. But yeah, it's, it's kind of all things to all meant this because the staff, are, the staff are great. They're really polite, really well presented, really nice. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely a drinking bar. Um, and there are plenty of people in here drinking now. You can watch the sport. Uh, but I said fully functional hotel still, so you see the rest of it, which is which is just great. It's beautiful. I can see why it's so highly regarded in Nolpa. Um Yeah, first time I've been it, uh, and I'm very impressed. I'd, I'd come and stay. Um, I would look at the prices if I was going to Nolpa to stay. I would definitely look at the price of this. I would definitely consider this. It's, it's really in the vicinity of where you can get to from the town as well. Yeah, yeah, top notch, top mint. I'd, I'd say it's well worth a look. The line. Yeah, it's lovely in the line. Uh, yeah, first time I've been in there. So it's the first time I've been in any of these Danish roads. So my next stop is the Devonshire. I've never been here either. Um, th again, this looks beautiful from the outside. Um, I, I'm loving Belper anyway. But yeah, coming down this road that we haven't done last time, I'm starting to see some of the real old school, old feeling boots. Um, starting to see the business end of things. Uh, but yeah, on the outside, like, have a look at that. How beautiful is that, man? Stunning, isn't it? So uh, I think I've got, I don't know, four, four, maybe five after this to go. Um, plus a long walk up a hill. I might try and get a bus or a taxi. Because I'm so dark for that walk. But yeah, Belper's beautiful. Where I am right now, well looking forward to going in here. Devonshire's up next. Top lovely gaffers. Um, lovely people and stuff as well. Got some uh, some really good samples. Oh, yeah, including some local. Said uh, I, love, I love when you find uh, Dancing Duck stuff on. Because uh, there are some really good bits on some really good stuff on the taps and things in here as well and it's just it's a lovely it's a lovely guy good place to stop uh, and i've got at least four or more so to go long day so right at the front door of devonshire brings you to bang in belper um now th this is one i have been told about an awful lot uh this was highly recommended come up say again it's another new one on me i hope it's banging because that's certainly what it says that size uh, it looks great inside i might have some food in here because i'm I'm getting peckish, uh, and we shall see how the night goes. It's already very apparent to me as to why this was so shouted out on the page. Like, oh, well, people are all banging, 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 go. This is, uh, this is your beer, this is your beer drinking house. This is the one that's got a sour on our, our, our yonder uh, pink lemonade in here. Which is banging. Um, to be fair, so after that yonder key lime pie a uh, week or so ago, in the pharmacy arms and sides, and I was well impressed with yonder anyway. But yeah, it's, it, this is a proper beer drink. They've got some, they've got some hand pulls and stuff on anyway. But. but this is where the magic happens, up on this. So, so yeah, that, uh, that number eight, Yonder Pink Lemonade is where I'm at. And it's beautiful. It's, uh, you've got a very knowledgeable chap as well. He's going to give me a wave, I'm sure. Very knowledgeable, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he knows. But this is, uh, everyone shouted this out to me, say, Yo, you've got to do banging, you've got to do banging. The first few minutes banging, there's some real good burger looking things on there. Um, and it is, it's a, this is a great little vibe. This is a, this is a proper beer drinker's house that also does banging food. I've, I've looked at some of the food, it looks absolutely banging. Um, hence the name. But yeah, uh, they've, done, they've done well with this. Really, really, really good place. So uh, I like it in here so much. I've, I've been convinced to do, by watching the food come out, I've ordered a couple of portions of the gyozas. So I've got uh, a chicken and vegetable gyoza and a beef gyoza. I can't show you. But um, honestly, I'm, I'm convinced by sitting here for a few minutes um, to definitely have something to enjoy in it. Looking forward to these coming. They'll be here in a minute for you. So, yeah, so I'm going to try a couple of the portion of Goyosas. I mean, they look, I mean, they call it banger, but they look mad. Chicken and vegetable. 
and a beef. And uh, I'm, I'm wearing more. You want to watch the trial? The trial one, the um, trial one of beef. Go for the beef. Oh yeah. Look at this. Oh. Get a bit of that sauce going on. Oh. Oh yeah. Mmm. Oh yeah, man, that's superb. Banging my name. Impressed with this? Banging is seriously impressive. But you know, I like a bit of culture and stuff as well. So, wondering at the front. From there, you've got Belper Baptist Church. Look at that. Oh, it's a beautiful little church, that, isn't it? Oh. Right, I think I've got four to go. Um, I, I'm so impressed by banging, I really am. Uh, I've got four to go. I think it's this, Rumours, and then up to the Queen's Head and the Thorn Tree. Um, which are up on massive hill. I said, I, I'm still, I'm dreading. The amount of times I say it to you, imagine how worried I am about it. I'm not looking forward to that. Plus, I've still got this pain in my back that is really struggling in my walking round. But look at this. Georgian Dragon. How beautiful does this look, man? Um, four to go, Georgian Dragon. Uh, and on to the next one. Yeah, this is beautiful looking from the outside. Can't wait. This is equally as beautiful inside as it is outside. So I've got um, four hand pumps on the other side, two on the arm. We've got six done, um, but this is them I mean, and the old beams, the stone floors, things like that. This is proper old school booze. The pool table over to the other side of the bit as well. Yeah, proper old school vibes of a real pub that hasn't messed about with for many, many years. And yeah, absolutely lovely this. This whole street, to be fair, has been absolutely magnificent so far. Very, very impressive. So it's not necessarily the uh, the town centre part that you think. It's the sort of the side street to the town. But yeah, this is this. This might even be my favourite part of Elpa so far. Some very, very good pubs up here. Proper old school booze, I love it. Um, all right, twenty yards down the road. Rumours. So it's a retro bar. Uh, you know I love a good retro bar. So this is my. Uh, Third from last stop of the night. Uh, glad to see it. Always happy on a retro bar. I'm planning to do karaoke, but it's not busy. I'm not doing karaoke. And I've got I've got a long walk ahead of me still, even with my back going uh, to, do, to finish off tonight. So, Rumours is the third from last stop, which makes it 20. You know better than me by now, 20. Honestly, I really like it. This is right on my street again. Like uh, a little 80s, 90s sort of retro kind of bar. They're not trying to be saying they're not. It's, uh, it's a retro bar, but it's got some great, uh, great stuff up on it. It looks like a retro bar, it feels like a retro bar. Yeah, they've, got, they've got a handful on stuff. Um, they've got really good, they've got the King of Lager with Shredder and stuff like that on. So, um, it's Thursday night, I really like it. Apparently they've got some karaoke on later tonight, but I'm not saying for that, but yeah, I really like it. Retro bars are all right by me. Let's have a, let's have a walk around here. So it's, pretty, it's a Thursday night, it's pretty quiet, but they've got a King of Lager and stuff like that anyway. They've got a decent enough selection of stuff on here. One, one of the Dancing Ducks songs. This is, this is something special though, look at this. Baby Sham. But this is the original recipe Baby Sham. It's made, it's made a comeback. People my age remember Baby Sham, as you know, yeah? But that's the original Baby Sham making a little comeback. So this is nice in here, man. This is a really good, I can't go into very long for this to music, but a good old dance floor, back room, of retro feeling, of vibe, and stuff. You can't go wrong with a, a, a retro vibe inside gaff like this, can you? I love this, I think this is banging. <sighs> right, honestly. You don't want to do this walk. So, oh, oh my God, it was, it was, no, I'm joking, I got an Uber. Of course I got an Uber. I wasn't going to come up here without doing an Uber, was I? Because it, uh, it was a long walk. I'll tell you, Thorn Tree Inn is my penultimate stop. Queen's Head's there. But yeah, I got an Uber up here because no one wants to do this walk. Uh, it was a long walk from the town. These, uh, so this shot's at half 10, apparently. Queen's Head shot's at 11. So they're my two. Well, this is, uh, it is, it, if you're going to walk, it's a walk up the hill. But honestly, I tell you what, this is one of the friendliest places I've ever been. Look, 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 we've got an old friend as well. Look, look, here he is, here he is. Do you remember? Here he is, he's Dee Dee. Oh, there you are. Uh, we always, it's always nice to bump into the people again that you've seen on the thing. But this is, this, but this is a lovely, like, you've got a good selection of ciders in here. You've got all these real nails on, including the bass. I know how much you lot love a good bass. But this is one of the gems of this place. So, aside from the real fire, I'm going to walk you outside now. So from the real fire that is creating a really cosy vibe in here, a really nice atmosphere. Come out here and you will see, I bet in summer, this is an absolute gem. This backyard with the views. So you've got a lovely little backyard out here. But just look across here and see what I see. Because I tell you, in the summer, look at the views across there. 
Look at the views across this. This is one of Belpa. It's high, so you get it's not it's not good to walk up. But you can see across, and this is a lovely pub. A little bit up the hill, but honestly, this this one is well well worth coming to see. Honestly, it's well worth coming to see. Absolutely, to be honest, absolutely love the thorn tree. I'm well glad that I bothered to make the effort to come up here because it really is good. So my last stop of the night, final one for the day. It's Queen Z. Again, lovely old school looking booze of this, isn't it? 21 in a day, it's not bad. So there's a lot of hills here. It's been a long day. It's been, it's taken me longer than I thought, but it's the walking. But honestly, Belpa is definitely a town you should come to. So let's go and see what the last one's like. 21 for 21, Queen Z. Right, 21st stop of the night. Final, final stop on the run. Good selection of stuff in here as well. Got the old, uh, got the thatches on. Not a bad bar. Yeah, uh, a couple of, couple of hand pulls and bits like that. It's a nice, it's a nice old school thing here. It's like a maze walking around the rest of it. Nice garden and stuff like that. It's like a maze walking around the rest of it. But yeah, nice, um, nice old school booze. A nice way to finish. Big roaring fire, which is uh, making the cozy in there. So, 21 from 21 in a day. 21 pubs. Um, I think I've had a decent day. It's taken me eight odd hours, burst the walk, I think. The hills and everything else. But yeah, Belper. Belper is well worth coming to see. Honestly, it's... Um, do please come and see Belper. You'll love it. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Much appreciated. And I'll see you tomorrow in Nairsborough. Never in Nairsborough in my life. I'm looking forward to it, though. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.